need hit that ground. Suicide. I'm a man Vanessa, shorty, I'm a blesser. This bad bitch caress me, and now I am dresser. Running up a check, yeah, yeah, that's my mental. What's going on, man? It's your man OG here. I got the video people been asking me for. Now, this is the second video. Before we get into it, let's get it to 500 likes. If we get to 500 likes, I'll drop another tutorial. Going in deep. I read the comments, I see what y'all having trouble with on defense. This video right here is about to show you how to lock down. Now, watch. We're going to get more into detail to this one. I'm dropping the keys for y'all. As you can see, they have very good records, right? They have the cheesy lineup build that most people use. Like, if you play threes, like the cheesy lineup for the threes, they go with a pair sharp, right? Because it's similar to, like, 17, like how the screens are in this game. So now we have a pair sharp here, a glass cleaner, then they put a sharpshooting athletic so it's like a slashing sharpshooter he's big in the corner so you can tell this is a team like this is people they made they, they made their builds together they're like all right let's play you can tell off the rip right the sharpshooter uh athletic finisher stays in the corner so he does dime it he pump fakes you jump he can drive if you don't jump he can shoot let's get into the video now now this rule people ask me can this clamp up season can this can they de do these defense videos apply to him as well? Yes. Cool with him. I don't got no problem with him. You know, I, for the most part, I stay in my lane now. I don't do how stuff I used to do before Cloud Chase people. I don't do none of that stuff. But it applies for any dribbler. And we're going to get into detail. I'm going to show you the truth about 2K that y'all not realizing yet. This is why I tell a lot of people. This is like, good. when I make these defensive videos, I'm not teaching nobody one-on-one -on -one how to do it no more. These videos, you need to come back and watch them when you're having the truck, right? So off the rip, we see that they're doing this cheesy, you know, play style. Do the little pick and roll right there, because you know I have to press up on the sharp. I can't give them the three, all right? So we're going to get into this gameplay. I'm going to show you. All right, first off, we're going to catch the three. Y'all already know I, my 610 is just nasty. I love this build. I can't wait to get it to 99. I already know it's going to be like elite. I just can't wait, bro. But you see what I do right here first. We're reaching on him. Why are you doing that, OG? You have to remember. That is another human on the game while you're playing. It is another human. It's not a CPU. You can get him mad without talking to him by reaching, letting him know I reach. So you better protect the ball. Don't just, you want to make him have that shaky feeling of where he's like, this nigga reaches. So let me try to dribble more careful. Already at that point, when you reach on him a few times, you give him that kind of scary feel. He gets that feel, right? I reach again. Now, at this point, he's probably to his homeboys. Oh, my God. All they do is spam. You never know. It may... Listen, this is just the possibilities of things. You never know. He can start raging, get mad. You feel what I'm saying? He's going to get mad. He's going to be like, yo, help me up a little bit. All right? Watch this. We I just, just watch the defense. Now, look what I'm doing with him. I am taking my time. Right here, as you can see, if I stop it right here, what a person right now would do is turbo. They would turbo and run to that man to try to catch up with him. Watch how I still play. I am crawling to him. Now look how we're getting the ball fumbled. Let me go back. I want to show y'all. It's all about animations in this game. Now look at this pair sharp. Let me pause it. I know pair sharps, most of the time, some of them are not comfortable with this shot. Some can may stop right here and take it, but most of them know they may get an animation because if you look at his body, he's not in a position to just stop and shoot he's not in a position he's in a position as he's dribbling and running the ball so he has to make that extra movement on his other on the back of his analog to turn back so you have time you're running towards him but what people do is they turbo because they're scared they see he gets a little breakaway space and that space doesn't mean anything all you do watch like watch again i'm about to start the video i crawl to him you see how i'm crawling i'm not turboing i'm creeping this is what you need to do when you're playing if you want to play and get above the screens and make it a little bit easier for when you switch because if you're getting caught in the screens and then having to switch sometimes you still can get there late but if you're playing high over the screens and then your teammate switches later on what you'll see in the game let's get back into it i'm on him now you see how i'm on him i am reaching look how he's cheesing i'm crawling back to him the screen is touching me a little bit i jump right there but guess what i did enough I did enough for him to miss that shot because he's zigzagging too much. Over time, if you do zigzag too much, it's in the system where 2K, they'll make you miss the shot. Guaranteed. And that's deep. I'm making him uncomfortable already at that point, you know, having him take those shots. 
You see, I got the 610. I'm just bigger than him. That's the advantage. With most pair sharps, you don't see pair sharps, like big sharp pair sharps, handling the ball like this. They're usually double screening. But when you have a smaller one, we're going to get more into it. I want y'all to understand, weight matters in 2K this year. Weight matters. Now, look what I'm doing. I am pressing him. I am pressing him, and I'm making sure I get contact animation. Now, this is contact animation. Now, a lot of y'all, I'll be trying to explain to y'all, and y'all don't understand. This is when you're doing a good job on defense. When you have your man like this, you see how my elbow's touching his elbow? I have the screen stop. Look at it. Zoom in on it. Do whatever you want to do. You see how I'm making that body contact with him? Now his stamina is going to start depleting. If you don't believe that this works, go on my career, play against some CPUs, and just try to turbo, turbo into his body, and then try to ride the court with him as if, like, you know, how he's doing. And watch your stamina go down. Literally, because strength. He is smaller than me. All these builds, people act will work against Diesel. Yes, you just have to be able to get the contact animation. All these dribblers make lightweight players so they can dribble faster, have more speed to be able to speed boost. They're not going to give up their speed boosting. So understand this. If you are the type of person that you can't guard these dribble guys and stuff like that, get a player with more weight. You're going to be able to stop them more, get these contact animations more because you're stronger. All you have to do is cut them off. It's not much ways they can go on the court to speed past you. You have to make sure you get that contact animation quick. This applies for sharps, bigger stretches, everything. You have to be making sure you're getting contact animation to put their stamina out. You see my defensive stopper comes up. I'm making stops on him. You get what I, you, you guys get what I'm saying? Look how I'm bumping him. I'm 200 pounds. He's probably maybe a, a, I don't know, maybe a 180 something type of player, right? Now you see, like, look at the defense we're playing. Alrighty, we're starting there, alright? Contact animations. That's what I'm going to title this video. That's the key focus and the main purpose of this video. Uh, contact animations. You can get it against anybody. You see how I'm making that contact with him? You see how I'm not waiting for him. I'm going into him. This is what you have to do to a dribble guy. If you wait for a dribble guy and try to move side to side, that's when you're going to be effed with them at that point. You want to make that contact animation. Have you ever see when you play in a person tight and you just have to know, okay. Because some people see, say, how do I get the contact animation more? Sometimes I'll try going it and my body will slide off of them. You have to make sure you're positioned right. You can't just be trying to run into their body. It's not going to stop like that. You have to be L2-ing and then make sure you're positioned in front of them to cut off the lane of the direction they want to go in. It's animation. I keep telling you this every time. Sometimes, yes, you're going to be get beat because that's just like some things but to stick defense great 90% of the time 85% of the time like how I do that's what you want to do you see we're already making the frustration plays right there I'm pressing him making it hard for him I'm close to my takeover he's like oh yeah bro I'm gonna need some more help on these screens look where I have the center trying to set screens at when do you see screens behind the court this is that type of defense I'm I'm making it hard for this guy I'm making it tough for him really hard for him usually people get caught in screens and it's easy for them and then i'm making it so tough for this guy look how the center is running doing trying to do look at it look at this i really want y'all to pay attention to this look how i'm playing defense look at the screens he's setting they come right there they're starting to get a little loose now and it's because i'm going to tell y'all one main thing play size whenever you play any type of lineup like this play size you see how they're getting us confused right there the screen is coming this is why i say play size it look who look who he's closer to this is a glass and sometimes they'll have a stretch here set in the screen they'll have a stretch or whatever the case is either way the lineup's still good if you put a glass or stretch in there that's their stretch basically the stretch over there you feel what i'm saying the athletic shark now we get confused right here and it would be easier if palestine would just pick up on that but watch we're gonna adapt this is why i gotta show you in game when they're killing people like this most of these little lineups this is how they kill people it's because you don't switch. So switching is important. It is very, very easy. This is why I say if I play with people, I want to play with people that play real life basketball because it's the same thing in a video game. It's like a zone. And if you don't know how to play it, if you get confused when to know to stay home, some people don't know how to stay home on defense. They don't know, okay, he's picking up on my man. I'm there. That's why it's chemistry. You got to know that. Okay, yeah, I know him. He's going to pick that up for me. That's how you have to be on the court. You can't be like, oh, shit, I thought you was going to, uh, press him i thought you was gonna pick him up bro that's the confusion that's how they start killing you then the defense breaks down your teammates start getting mad all right i turned on my takeover because i'm like bro we need it for some defense these dudes are comp 
they're playing cheesy. I'm like, let me turn my takeover on early for defense if y'all wonder why I turn my takeover on so quick and not use it just for offense. Because it's like, I don't use for offense. And this build can speed boost. I didn't even know. I didn't even peep till I did it. But this build can speed boost and take over. Speed boost and take over. You right there. <laughs> y'all see what I do, man. Tight green. Come in clutch right there. I'm telling y'all, bro, I love comp petition games i don't really care who pulls up on me this year you see they get it right there they're confusing us right now i'm like damn bro what are we doing right now mid game this is what i'm thinking you know some people get mad right here and may argue with teammates mid game you got to say what are we gonna do it's like mid game play calling like if a coach is see something going wrong on the court he's gonna call out to the team early so you can get it down packed and then maybe have a comeback so they are playing great defense y'all see this they're playing defense these are not just scrubs i'm playing Dropping these buckets on going crazy with this build. You know some people say this was gonna be a bill It's not a it's a bill for come-ups. Are you serious? It can do mostly everything if you know how to use it now You see they're double screening me at this point, but guess what past I did right there He switched and what thing one thing I forgot I'm 610 I can go down and contest this glass cleaner. He's gonna try to put it up But guess what glass cleaners can really only just rebound most of the time you get that blue dumb shot right there. That's a turnover. This is the same reason why I made a 6'10", so I can do that, be able to switch. This is why I like a bigger guard that can handle the ball a little bit. You don't need too much dribbling. Now, look, look what I told y'all. What? Look what I instantly do. Watch this and understand this. If you do this to any dribble guy, anyone, watch this. Look what I instantly do. Contact animation. I am riding him up the court. No homo. Riding him up the court. Still. Guess what? Him doing all that, me weighing more than him, 200 pounds, making that contact animation, he was tired, he tried to do a dribble move, and got stripped. This is the, this, these are the things I be trying to tell y'all on defense y'all have to get. When you're getting contact animations throughout the game, and you're getting it all the time playing your defender, then you know you're doing a good job on defense. You'll see it. You'll be like, okay, yeah, I'm really clamping up. Look what I'm doing instantly. Now, this is what one pe person asks, when is the right time to reach? Now, let me explain this. Now, watch what he does. He has the ball right here, right? Now, 2K this year, and it's even more de deadly this year because 2K added in where you have the project dribble feature so that they're not letting you dribble between people. You can't really dribble in somebody's face too much and into them and not lose the ball. So you have to dribble a little bit away from them and, and break them a little bit. Watch what happens. He puts the ball down in front of his face and I time it right when he puts the ball down on the ground and strip him. I wish I could like slow it, but just watch when the ball goes on the ground, strip him. Now I'm starting to pick him because he's not. This is for pure sharps. If you're not doing this to a pure sharp all throughout the game, don't play. You should not be always just sliding with a pure sharp, leaving him at full stamina. Knock his stamina down, please. Same thing with a dribble guy. They're lighter, they're weaker. Play sharps, same thing with them. Definitely them. I do it to them all the time. Get their stamina down. Don't allow them to create the space to be able to do a dribble move. Look at the shots I have him taking. This is what you do. When you're do playing defense like this, he's shaky now. You're giving, I'm giving myself that boost now. Rampage takes the shot. We're going crazy. We're going crazy now. The pressure is on him now. His team can be raging at him now. You have to think about all this, keeping the pressure on people, keeping it difficult for people. Look what he's doing. Look what I have him doing. Look at the pressing him. Look at the shots I have him taking. He's trying to zigzag to get this shot off. They need a three so badly. Look how I'm, look at this. This is what I want to show y'all. I get beat, right? Somebody will be scared here. Once again, my back is turned. You don't need to worry. Stop being warriors when you're playing defense. Like when somebody beats you a little bit, stop starting to panic. Watch how I crawl around like in a little boomerang shape. Watch how I just crawl around him. I don't turbo. I just crawl around defensive stance because he's not in the position to shoot. You have to be watching that. Look, crawl around him. He's not in the position to shoot. He doesn't want to shoot that because as soon as I see him ready to shoot that, he's already going to get animated because he's sliding. He's doing a sliding thing. He's not running and then stopping. He's like sliding, right? He's already scary. Now he thinks he's CP3. He doesn't want to shoot threes no more. He's out of it already. Tip. That's just cute. Palestine is seeing that I'm locking him up right there. 
That's the center I'm playing with. He's seeing that I'm locking him arrive right there. He knows that he's about to pass it because he's getting clamped. So he reaches there, perfect timing. Watch again, once again. He thinks he's Chris Paul. Why is he not shooting no more? I literally took him out the game. He's probably their key player that scores for them every single game, guaranteed. Guaranteed, and he's taken out of the game. You're not, he's not Chris Paul. With a pair sharp, you're all, always gonna get the skill. That's how you guard though, all right? Now, people wanna say this. Will it work on Steezo? Yes. There is a difference when you're playing on twos. Now, when it comes to twos, it's gonna be much harder, but I have the perfect two setup to guard a dribble guy or a pair shot creator. The perfect setup to guard them. Literally, and I'll give a video. Let me know if y'all want it. I'll give a video and put that down there so you can really do these methods. And when and when I'm doing it in this video, like showing y'all in this video, go out there and try it. Go out there and try it and see if it works. Press a dribble guy. Every time you play him, press him, get the contact animations, reach. Time your reaches. They can't dribble in your face like that. 2K is not gonna allow that. If they are dribbling in your face and they keep getting ankle breaker, ankle breaker, ankle breaker, remember the last defensive video I made. That means they boosted. So go buy steals and then it will deplete it. It's like it takes it out, it takes it away. They're back to normal. If you go buy steals boost, whenever you want to pull up on a dribble guy, most of them boost. That's so they can break you easier so they can score. I promise you, I promise you they do. I went and tested myself. I promise you. All right. Hope y'all listening. Slow.